There aren't many things we can say for certain about the future, but this is one of them. The future is urban. As of 2012, 50.1% of the world's population live in cities. In 2050, it is estimated that 68.7% of the world's population, that's over 5.3 billion people, will live in cities. This demographic shift will lead to an increased demand on all infrastructures, electricity, water, communications, transportation. At the same time, the physical footprint of the city will expand outwards, swallowing up smaller towns and villages which do not have the infrastructure to cope with the influx. Urban living is more efficient in many ways, but there are expensive downsides to living a long way from where your food gets grown. In the UK, 85,000 tonnes of food and consumer goods are carried by HGVs every single day. That's 25% of all road and rail freight traffic. Indeed, HGVs of over 33 tonnes gross weight account for more than 70% of the UK's total tonne kilometres. HGVs are over heavy, they are wasteful of fuel, they are unsuited to urban environments, they cause expensive damage to road infrastructure, they are a major source of atmospheric pollutants and CO2 emissions, and they are a hazard to pedestrians and other road users. It doesn't have to be this way. The technology already exists to replace HGV freight delivery in urban areas and radically change our cities in the process. First of all, we take the best features of the internet. Rhizomatic network topology, peer-to-peer -peer packet switching protocols, resilience, and scalability. Then we apply them to the delivery of physical goods instead of packets of data. Then we combine those features with trenchless tunneling techniques, magnetic linear induction motors, computer-aided design, additive manufacturing systems, and automated scheduling and oversight in order to build an energy-efficient food and goods delivery network underneath the city. We're calling this system the Intertubes. If you think of it as something like a London underground system but for goods instead of people, you're on the right track. But there are some big differences too. The pipes are around one metre in diameter, laid using trenchless tunnelling methods. No need to dig up huge stretches of the city surface. Furthermore, the tubes are flexible, allowing them to be steered around subterranean obstacles during installation. The pods, known as pigs, on the intertubes network will run on linear induction motors, a safe and efficient propulsion technology used in light urban and high-speed intercity train lines the world over. The pigs will also vary according to the type of freight or goods they are intended to carry, while always aiming to minimise mass. Traffic management and routing will be computer controlled using tried and tested protocols developed alongside the global growth of the internet. The system will include numerous depots or neighbourhood nodes for collection and dispatch of goods. These will become the post office reimagined for a digital age. The benefits of building the intertubes would be numerous. There would be an immediate reduction of freight traffic on urban roads, leading to less pollution, fewer traffic jams, less maintenance expense, and a much improved urban lifestyle. Better still, we'd be using less energy to achieve the same results. Minimum weight vehicles mean no fuel is expended on moving the vehicle itself, just the cargo. And the less fuel we use, the less we pollute. We also do away with fuel-hungry waste disposal trucks. Both recyclable, recyclable materials and waste destined for landfill can be carried by the intertubes. Fewer waste trucks means less fuel consumed, plus less disruption to the urban street life. Furthermore, the pipe laying process could be expanded to include high voltage direct current cables and bundles of communications grade optical fibres. This will strengthen and extend the urban electricity grid and it will expand the urban bandwidth ceiling. In our data hungry future we will need solid backbones on which to grow networks of municipal Wi-Fi and automated urban management systems. Last but by no means least, we create jobs. Not just in the construction and maintenance of the intertubes itself, but in logistics and customer service, and in vast mode distribution and other piggybacking enterprises, making the neighbourhood nodes centres of localised urban commerce and community. 
The Intertubes are a preparation for our imminent hyper-urban future. They deliver integrated infrastructural development, capacity consolidation and the footprint reduction of the urban lifestyle. The Intertubes will make the city bigger, faster, cleaner and safer, preparing it for growth before it arrives, consolidating capacity and optimising provision. The Intertubes are a trellis to support the vine of urban life. The future is already possible.